Um, and uh, it seems to be, it's beginning to look like Christmas. The song, it's beginning to look, to look more like stress. <laughs> and there are two types of people, one is negative and positive. And we hope that this is beginning to look more like Christmas if you have the positive thoughts. Uh, positive thinking surrounds us. You all, you can be, just do it, pay for it, what you think you can. We hear this all the time. And uh, I actually have to return to the library. I just finished reading this book, coming out for the last minute, picking a topic for my speech. Something that I could really share, and may, maybe for you guys to use, or maybe give me a feedback if you agree on it. One simple idea. Thoughts are causative. That's what the book says, but they haven't derived a conclusion. They think that our mind affects material things. And uh, the notion that you can have diplomatic way of talking to people, atmosphere with other people through positive thoughts. The, the guy who's the author and also the editor for Penguin Books have uh, collected uh, historical writers, psychologists, preachers, Christian authors, scriptures, and molded them into this book. He thought that a mystical book in the 1830s was the beginning of this positive thinking movement. A lot of Americans was into mesmerism based on a psychic named Mesmer. And uh, his approach is that mental cure through thinking can actually heal body. So Americans flock into this thought about positive thinking. People became thrilled about the idea that actually thoughts can influence your, not just your body, but nowadays, it can bring you wealth, prosperity. You hear this a lot from Christian preacher Joe Austin to, in the beginning, Norman Vincent Peale. He, he, he did one with the entire chapter on him. Norman Vincent Peale uh, have incorporated positive thinking through his scriptures. He's very forthright, and uh, it's one of the most radical ideas of that time. Many people dismiss the idea, especially the scientific uh, uh, section of our society. And, uh, you know, just do it. Things are going towards nowadays. You know, we have life hacks. We have those social media that keeps on posting all these positive thoughts, thinking that it could change the way we do business, material things. Ronald Reagan is remembered as much of his time in politics. He was actually the one that caused the mainstreaming of this positive thinking based on his book. He was the most charismatic, but he is a Christian and he dwells, he talks about scripture, but mostly he also incorporates some mysticism, psychics. He's a hero of the invention of evangelical Christians. Reagan has developed this and he was able to sell the idea of being a Hollywood actor and this positive thinking movement took off. The author Mitch Horowitz points out that the one simple idea is an intellectual history and a one positive thinking uh, movement and started basically becoming popular through Reagan and Norman Vincent Peale. Uh, back then, Ronald Reagan was able to convince the public that the signing of independence back in the 1700s was actually influenced to minds and spirit on a positive thinking. Instead, stepping from the shadows, he gave a rousing oration about a lot of those things. And today, we that's one of his legacy that we have. Now, uh, being the author of this book and the main editor for Penguin Books, he tried to be balanced 
and uh, based after actually reading the book, he may be actually a positive thinking movement uh, supporter. Okay. New thoughts uh, believe that our thoughts possess such powerful influence on what we do and with other people. Uh, different proponents have uh, came up back before Reagan. We have uh, Mary Baker, he is a Christian science movement that thinks that mind can actually heal and that's another section that actually positive thinking can influence our, the way we live. He went back all the way when the, this uh, to when this carpenter was able, he was so sick, and uh, he was healed through Mary Baker's idea that mind can actually heal, it, based on some scriptures in the Bible. Another moment that mentioned on this chapter was uh, Glenn Clark. He's the founder of Camps Partisan. Anybody heard about him? He's actually a, a Christian preacher somewhere in Europe. And through prayers, he believes, and many believe, that he was able to slow down the death march in, during the Hitler era uh, in Poland. And people bought that. Again, mind over matter. This uh, Mitch Horowitz, uh, He's not my friend on Facebook, and he actually uh, actually gave him a, a good review. Uh, and a lot of, uh, you know, from, you know, Forbes, Harvard, uh, they actually have a good review of this being balanced. And being a, a Christian, I think that a lot of his ideas are all <coughs> ideas. You know, it's all in the scripture, in the Bible. Um, I, I don't have the scriptures like Elizabeth does, you know, I, I came here coming out with a lot of scriptures, but I know, you know, uh, if you pray, that's positive thinking, and if you know it can happen, it would. But then, uh, a lot of this positive thinking ideas proliferated from uh, uh, that book, The Secret. Uh, we have Joel Austin. There was one chapter here that also talks about Pat Roberts. 